decided to talk about protests and riots since we have been facing lots of them recently. I personally believe many working out there in the field have no idea how to deal with such issues. It may seem dramatic, but remember, an angry mob can be just as dangerous and unpredictable as just about any natural disaster. Keep in mind, thousands of people get killed in riots all over the world each year. And those riots erupt from a number of racial, religious, economic, political or social causes that cannot be predetermined. Laws are created to protect other people from what happened to them, etc. Unfortunately, during protests and riots, sometimes we get to see people smashing up businesses, steal from people, setting up buildings and cars on fire, shots fired and people hurt. Even sometimes, uniform personnel and firefighters get hurt when bricks, etc. are thrown at them in the line of duty. While at work, you alone cannot stop an angry mob. Don't dare to handcuff or arrest anybody. You might get injured. Always involve police. Let police do their job. And don't try to help them unless they ask you for an assistance. Law enforcement officers that are trained in police anti-right schools performing right control will often wear protective helmets and carry right shields and know what to do. To be honest, if you have found yourself in the middle of a right, you may not be able to run away. You must know how to avoid these situations if they arise. First of all, get familiar with your area you work at. If you are there visiting a location or checking the location for a season or two, or if you are a floater, you should still get to know your surroundings. Study a map until you are very comfortable with the area where you work, the area where you live, and the routes between those. Think about your possible escape routes and safe havens before anything actually happens and writers go crazy. Always remain calm. Writers bring intense emotions boiling to the surface, but you will be better off if you can keep your own emotions in check. Let your survival instincts kick in Strive to think rationally and pure safety. Avoid confrontation. If you need to move from one location to another, just walk. If you run or move too quickly, you might attract unwanted attention. If not alone and you working along with co-workers, stay close with your co-workers then the first thing you should do is grip their hands, lock elbows with all of the staff who are with you. Stick together with your colleagues should be your first priority. Reassure yourself that you have strength in numbers and that you will be fine if you stick together. Try not to get caught in right. Don't take side or help out. Try to stay away from the mob and away from their actions. Avoid bottlenecks or any areas where lots of people are squeezing through a small space. If you are in a patrol vehicle, drive carefully unless your vehicle is the focus of the angry mob in the right. You should stay in the vehicle and continue driving as calmly as possible. Try to keep to the streets 
that are clear of riots and avoid the main roads that are more likely to be occupied. Keep moving forward and do not stop to assess the situation. If someone tries to block your vehicle, honk your vehicle, punch your vehicle, yell at you, just keep driving until they get out of the way. Of course, it don't mean that you should hit the person. Drive at a moderate speed so they have time to back off and realize that you mean business. Remember that you are in a position of power when you are driving. Don't let a few angry people stop you from driving your vehicle and keep going unless you absolutely can't. Many activists, activists are afraid of vehicles because they have been cases where vehicles running down the protesters on the road. Remember to be firm but not aggressive to avoid giving the wrong impression. If you are on foot, you should move away by going with the flow of foot traffic, not against it. If you go against the traffic, you are much more likely to stand out, to get pushed or blocked. While on foot, if you get caught in the middle of a crowd, it's impossible to try to move in the direction of the crowd until you make your way to the outside of the crowd. To maximize your chances of safety, you should avoid the areas that are most likely to be crowded and should stay off the beaten path so you don't push yourself in a dangerous situation. Rights most commonly happen outside on the streets, not inside the buildings. In case an angry mob moves towards and try to enter buildings, move to a safe area, lock the doors and windows and stay away from them. You may be tempted to watch the right from the windows. This will increase your chances to get hurt. Move to the rooms that do not lead directly outside to avoid getting hit by stones, bullets or other weapons. Look for at least two exits in the building in case you need to leave in a rush. Just look out for fire if an angry mob turns towards the building. Nowadays things are different. People use social media. You can stay on top of news. Social media may provide you information as rapidly as possible though it may not be accurate. So keep your bases covered. You know, do your best to avoid being hit by riot control chemicals or weapons. There is no way you or your coworker can handle riots on your own. Definitely you will need local law enforcement or you are probably with them. And in some situations, you might see National Guard coming up there. They may deploy tear gas, etc. to disperse a crowd. These weapons and chemicals can cause severe pain, respiratory distress and blindness. So try to stay away from the front lines of a riot. During tear gas attack, stay out of the fire line of police or national guards. Never touch a tear gas canister while with bare hands. Once discharged, they are very hot. Do not approach police lines to attempt to cross to safety or help. The use of right control measures, including rubber bullets, tear gas and water cannons originate from the police line and those likelihood of injury is greater there. No material thing worth of your life. I appreciate all of you in the field who worked hard during pandemic. Stay safe. May God bless you, your families, and may God bless United States of America. Thank you. Please call us to receive a complimentary personal visit from a VSF security expert. 
to discuss your security needs. Our phone number is 800-981-3113. Email info at vsfus.com. Or you can visit our website for more information at www.vsfus.com.